My name's Abigail Reynolds. I'm an artist based in St Ives. We're in my studio at Port Mere, and I'm working with the British Art Show to create a new work which I've developed over the four cities called Elliptical Reading. And the other piece that I have is in the Levinsky Gallery and it's a piece called When Words Are Forgotten. That work is a result of a journey that I made uh, which was a journey along the Silk Road to the sites of former great libraries. I travelled starting in China, along the Silk Road, through Uzbekistan, Iran, Turkey, um, Italy, hang on, I've left somewhere out, uh, Egypt, um, to the sites of libraries that are completely destroyed. And I wrote a book about it, which is called Lost Libraries. And I made a work that is um, thinking about, yeah, when words are forgotten, so, I have books that I've read which live in my mind and change the way that I feel and the way that I see the world and the way that I think. And so the work is a sculpture um, of glass. It's a, it's a library of glass. So imagining bookshelves where all the content has been stripped away or bled away or been lost or forgotten or destroyed. And instead there are these kind of glass sheets that tint the world beyond. So when you look at the sculpture, you, you see the form of the sculpture, which is a very simple form. It's a simple plane. And you, but what you see also is what's beyond, what, beyond the sculpture. And in the Levinsky Gallery, it's placed near the window. So you look through it and you see the street beyond altered by the sculpture. And this is a bit of my feeling about culture and how what you're exposed to completely changes your perception and just thinking about the role of books in my life and the role of, that books have in other people's lives. But I wanted to use the, the opportunity of the British Art Show to make an artwork that would, um, would just activate what a library is and invite us to think about how extraordinary it is that we have libraries. A library contains many voices and they don't agree so you have uh, the duodecimal system, which means that there are sections for philosophy or religion or medicine um, or, and fiction. And, and these are worlds that do not have to agree. And so for me, the library is also deeply beautiful in terms of um, a certain sense of tolerance and a certain sense of diversity and plurality being celebrated.